right, for my botanist friends out there, uh, we're gonna go over the Monstera deliciosa today, and it's different life stages and eating it without killing yourself. So uh, here we go. This is the Monstera. This is the Monstera deliciosa plant, sometimes lovingly referred to as the Swiss cheese plant because of the perforations in its leaves. And here we have uh, a blossom. and some fruit already being set. And this fruit will be ready probably in about 10 months, maybe a little less. So that's it in its beginning stages. So over here we have Monstera and it's a growing stage. And it's gonna get bigger and bigger. This one probably has about five, five months left to it. And I really do set my calendar to, to when to pick. Now if you notice, this Monstera is all nice and vertical. And this Monstera is laying down. That's telling me that's about ready to pick. And then what I would watch is you watch the color of these scales back here. When they start to turn lime green, it's ready to pick. So here's the Monstera deliciosa, what we lovingly call dragon corn. And some people have been asking me, how do you tell when it's ripe, uh, what part do you eat, those sorts of questions. And one of the things that you'll notice that if we start here at the tip, and we work our way back down to where the stem would be, we'll notice that there's a change in color. <clears throat> On the left hand side we have kind of like a, a lime green, working all the way down to a, a dark green which would be on the tip. So we know that these tiles down on this side, these scales, are going to be the first to pop off and actually if I try if I prodded them a little bit they'd probably pop off right now but we're going to let them go come back tomorrow and we'll take a look at it then. So this is what it looks like when it starts to erupt. Now all these scales can be flicked off and there's a difference between flicking the scales off and pulling them off because if you have to apply any pressure to the scale it's going to be bad for you. I find the best way to remove the, the fruit is to use a, a fork and apply slight pressure and just pull the fruit off from the stalk. Take the rest of this and we put it in the refrigerator for later. That's uh, Monstera Deliciosa, and thanks for watching.